Okay, folks, it's another exclusive from yours truly, Gail, at Seattle Coffee Gear. Yes, we have uh, something new on the market from Breville that only Seattle Coffee Gear has, and it's the Bambino Pro. First off, what I'd like to do is show you just how fast this machine turns on. Whoop. Ready. That's it. It's called Instant On Thermal Coil, and it's exclusive to uh, Breville. They have some sort of a, man, this thing just heats up like in nobody's business. Three seconds, not even three seconds. Let's go through the features of the machine, and then I'm going to tell you what makes this the pro and what's exclusive about it with Seattle Coffee Gear. This machine has two programmable volumes in the cup. It also has the, um, the smart steaming, that's the only thing I know what to call it is, you can control the uh, amount of foam you get and the temperature of the foam you get. And then this little sensor right down here, you put your frothing pitcher on it, and as it's doing its thing, it will sense the temperature and it'll sense how much foam it's putting in it. And so you get exactly what you want within parameters. There's three settings on each one of those. Also right back here, 64 ounces of water. Now that is a huge water tank for a machine of this size. And then why is it called the Bambino? Because it's a small machine. As you can see, it's very narrow. It's not very tall and it's not very deep. The machine is uh, really well um, designed for a small kitchen, apartment, something like that. Boat. I always mention boats, don't I? Yes, boats. And it comes with a portafilter with the pressurized baskets, uh, the double and the single. And on uh, baskets, and I'll show you this in a minute, if I can get this out of here with my fingernails without breaking my nails. On the pressurized baskets, it is, oh, you know what? I have a tool in my back pocket. I know I do. It's called a screwdriver. Pressurized baskets. These are double wall at the bottom. And you can see that there's a bunch of holes up here, but there's only one hole it comes out of. And it's right in the center right there. So it, it forces the um, coffee through there, which gives you kind of a faux crema. It uh, compensates if you don't have a proper grinder and things are just not perfect, it will compensate. It's not gonna be as good as a non-pressurized would be, but it's pretty darn good. And speaking of what makes this um, the pro and exclusive from Seattle Coffee Gear, ba boom, we are including a whole nother portafilter. Notice these are both stainless steel portafilters. This one's a little bit deeper. It comes with the double spouts on the bottom. And it also comes with a non-pressurized double basket. Boom. Now you're going to become a pro, but you have to have a grinder to go with it. So make sure that you have a good ground espresso at home because you want to dial it in. You're looking for a 20 ounce, I mean, a 20 ounce, two ounces of pour espresso made within 20 to 30 seconds. And if it's coming out too fast, that means that your grind is too coarse. If it's coming up too slow, that means it's too, uh, Fine. So another thing I want to show you on this portafilter, uh, it does have a plastic insert on the inside. And for those of you that do not want your coffee to come in contact with plastic, I have the remedy for you. Uh, unscrew the spouts. They come right off. And if you look in there, you'll see a plastic flange, which is a part of this. Take a flat bladed screwdriver or something like that, push on that plastic flange in there, and boom, it just pops right out. Now you've got no plastic, get rid of that, and you've got stainless steel portafilter on the inside here. That's a really good thing. Put the spouts back on, and there's a gasket there to keep that tight from leaking. Put this basket back in, or if you don't have a decent grinder yet, you can always put the double or the single pressurized in here and use it, and you're eliminating the plastic. You've got the double spouts that are kind of nice, and then you can 
when you when you get a decent grinder, upgrade it to this basket. You're all set up. You're going to go from being a novice right up to being uh, somebody that, well, let's just say the neighbors are going to be hanging around your house because you're going to be making good drinks. Just saying. So that's what makes this an exclusive. We're the only people doing this with the Pro, and we think it's a really nice upgrade for a machine like this. So what else comes in the box? Uh, the tamper, a frothing pitcher, the Breville razor, which is for flattening off the top of the coffee when you uh, grind it and tamp it down, flatten it off, and that making sure you get the same amount every time. The cleaning disc and the sample of the cleaning tablets also will be in there. So that's what's in the box. Boom. Nice, huh? Stainless steel casing. Nice little drip tray right down here. Not too big, but big enough to hold what you, you know, needed to do. Slides right over there in the sensor. And a traditional steam arm, except that it's going to do it for you. What's left? Let's make a drink. Let me get some milk. Let me get some coffee. And then we're going to make a drink with the new portafilter. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'm back. I have the milk. I've got some coffee over here. We have the holiday blend from Olympia Coffee. And it says flavors, blueberry, clove, and chocolate. Well, clove, of course, and chocolate. Oh, well, for the holidays, you know it. And we're using the Atom Grinder today. Any good grinder that goes fine enough will work with this uh, new portafilter. So. You just want to level it off. I'm not pushing down. I'm just leveling it off and getting rid of the excess coffee. Tamp it. And I am going to make the milk first. Remember I mentioned the settings on this. Well, that's the least amount of foam. That's medium foam. And that's a lot of foam. And on the temperature, least, middle, high. I can tell you I made one on high with a lot of foam the other day. It took the foam from here right up to here, and the temperature was way warm. So I am going to take each of these down to the medium setting because I think that'll be fine for me. And then let's go from there. Make sure that this carafe is sitting on that little sensor. That's important. It's that thermal coil doing its thing. You know, this would make a great gift for that person that you're not sure if they want the pressurized or the non-pressurized. This way they get both. It's a it's a win-win situation and they can if they're if they're new to the espresso, uh, this will with the with the uh, pressurized baskets will allow them to dip their toes in the pool and then as they grow and get more experienced this uh, portafilter right here the new portafilter that we add in will take it to the next level gone from there up to about there. So not as much foam as I got before, which was way up here. I was on the phone the other day and somebody asked, are you really not good at latte art? And I said, I am truly not good at latte art. That um, it's, not a, it's not something that I'm playing around and just kind of fooling with you guys. I'm no good at it. And watch this. Make sure you wipe that off good, and then it cleans itself. Okay, squirting. I like that feature, because if you don't remember to, to uh, clean it, it's going to do it for you. Let's get this going. And these, I have this programmed for uh, two ounces. 
is what I did it for. Looks pretty darn good. Looks real good and it feels like a good temperature too. I'm going to say that's around 155 or so. Oh, it had a pre-infusion, by the way. I didn't uh, speak to that added feature. Ooh. Well, it's the daffodil coming up in the spring, and it's not even spring. Mm. Now that is the perfect temperature for me. Hot enough that it's going to last me for a few minutes, but not too hot. Yummy. But if you like it hotter, pump it up just like that. So that's the Bambino Pro. Check it out on our website. There's the regular Bambino too, but you're not going to get that specialized porta filter with the basket. Just saying. Check it out on our website. Comments down below. And if you have any questions, don't feel... As though you can't call us, you can always call us. Jingle us up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks a lot for watching.